What is up? Daniel here, and we are back again with the Virtual Robotics Studio. Season two, let's go. And this year, um, we are gonna be doing videos for how to build the kit bot. So first has included in the kit of parts, more or less, all the key pieces you need to build an entire functional robot. Now, this robot is designed to be a simple starting point. So you got the drivetrain, it does have a note launcher that can hit the speaker. Um, maybe with some tweaking, you can get it to hit the, the amp as well, um, but that's gonna be up to you. The idea though is we've got sort of, sort of a good baseline robot. There's lots of space uh, on the back, there's space on the sides. Try to add more to it as you go. If you finish this robot and it's working and you're practicing with it, try to add another system. Maybe a hanger, maybe there's a way to do a floor pickup. So just kind of think about those things as you're going through these videos and, and maybe you want to adjust where some of the things get mounted to save you space for that. But I love that it's a simple starting robot to get you up and running fast and I love that there's lots of room for you to expand on it and make it better. One of the things that I'm gonna mention now and I'm going to mention again later is that, remember you can only carry one note at a time, so for sure you need some way to stop this from happening where it gets stuck in the robot and you're just done for the match. So you probably wanna add at the very least some extra shielding or walls to make that happen. All right, there are some resources that you should be aware of. First website has a Kitbot resource page that is gonna have um, their guides, it's gonna have documents that you might need, CAD models, it's gonna have a parts list, a bill of materials that you're gonna need to buy for this. Now there are some additional parts that we used. So on the First in Michigan Virtual Robotics Studio website, we'll have a list of all the specific extra parts that we bought. A lot of it was like bumper hardware or things that were not strictly part of the kit build, but um, where you were directed to other resources for those sections. We're also on the First in Michigan website gonna have hopefully uh, an upgraded and more streamlined video viewing process. One of the things that we're doing this year as opposed to last year is we're not doing one whole system as one video. Electrical is one long video, but um, so it'll be build you know, this section, then build this section, then build the motors. And the idea is there are parts that you can be doing simultaneously. So if you have a small team and you're only gonna be working on one thing at a time, that's great. Start at video number one, work your way through to the end. But if you have a bigger team and you have other people that could be working on stuff, then we've tried to make our website show you which videos are available and ready to go and which ones you can't really start yet um, because you need to finish some other videos first. So check that out. That will hopefully help you get through the build of this robot a little bit faster. So we're excited to move on to the next video and get started building this robot. I mean, I guess technically we already built it and we're filming, D don't worry about that, TV magic. But before we can do that, we have to give some thanks. First of all, we wanna thank Bruce Stone and FRC Team 302 and Lake Orion High School for helping us with the set and giving us this room to film in. We also have to thank First, who sent us a kit of parts so we have a rookie kit of parts here. We were able to use that to make our experience here as close to the one that you're gonna have in your classroom or in your workshop as possible. They also gave us the designs of the robot early so that we could film this ahead of time and take our time to make sure we got everything right instead of rushing through it after kickoff. And of course, we have to thank Argosy Foundation, whose funding made all of this possible.